All right, today is Tuesday, October 17th, and we are on chapter 22. We'll be reading today in the book of Proverbs. And with that, we'll start with praying in the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Bless us, our Lord, for these thy gifts which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord, amen. Let's begin. A good name is more desirable than great riches, and high esteem than gold and silver, rich and poor, have a common bond. The Lord is the maker of them all. The shrewd man perceives evil and hides, while simpletons continue on and suffer the penalty. The reward of humility and fear of the Lord is riches, honor, and life. Thorns and snares are on the path of the crooked. He who would safeguard his life will shun them. Train a boy in the way he should go. <clears throat> Even when he is old, he will not swerve from it. The rich rule over the poor, and the borrower is the slave of the lender. He who sows iniquity reaps calamity, <clears throat> and the rod destroys his labors. The kindly man will be blessed, for he gives of his sustenance to the poor. Expel the arrogant man, and discord goes out. <clears throat> Strife and insult cease. The Lord loves the pure of heart. The man of winning speech has the king for his friend. The eyes of the Lord safeguard knowledge, but he defeats the projects of the faithless. The sluggard says a lion is outside. In the streets I might be slain. The mouth of the adulteress is a deep pit. He with whom the Lord is angry will fall into it. <clears throat> Folly is close to the heart of a child, but the rod of discipline will dr drive it far from him. He who oppresses the poor to enrich himself will yield up his gains to the rich as sheer loss. Three, sayings of the wise, the sayings of the wise. Incline your ear and hear my words and apply your heart to my doctrine, for it will be well if you keep them in your bosom. If they all are ready on your lips, <clears throat> that you trust may be in the Lord. I make known to you the words of Amen M. O. Have I not written for you the thirty, that with counsels and knowledge to teach you truly how to give a dependable report to who, to one who sends you? Injure not the poor because they are poor, nor crush the needy at the gate. The Lord will defend their cause and will plunder the lives of those who plunder them. Be not friendly with a hot-headed man, nor the companion of a wrathful man, lest you learn his ways and get yourself into a snare. Be not one of those who give their hand and pledge of those who become surety for debts. For if you have not the means to pay, your bed will be taken from under you. Remove not the ancient landmark which your father set up, you will see a man skilled at his work. He will stand in the presence of the king, of kings. He will not stand in the presence of obscure men. Chapter 23, we'll begin tomorrow. With that, we'll close in prayer. Our Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us for our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. See you guys tomorrow.